there's a curse that if you win the rusical, you get sent home the next week. And I was mm-hmm. like, that can't be true. And then I like did the research. I was like, oh, no, oh, she is? went home. Oh, uh-huh. she went home. So good to see you. Great to see you. I love what you've done with that, the place. Oh, thank you. You like our new digs? Yeah. And it's very mauve. Is a is a very hot color okay, for good. now. So, yes. Well, if we got the Carson Kressley stamp of approval, then we you are good do. to go. I'm not sure about this one. Um, <laughs> We'll, we'll think about this. We'll this, think about that yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like a, an organ of some kind. Um, anyway, enough about the decor. Enough about I'll the just, decor. I'll just shield it. <laughs> right, thank you. We were talking before, but congratulations, RuPaul. Yes. The highest episode ever? You, highest right? rated, rated episode, episode, I think, ever? in 10 years. That's ama- yes, in a decade, yes. Um, but still, that's amazing. And even just saying in a decade, I'm right. like, wait, we've been doing the yeah. show... Um, is in its 16th season. It's incredible. And it's been so amazing to work on because it was a very, it's a little show that could. Mm-hmm. You know, it started out on a very niche network on yeah. Logo, then it moved to VH1. Um, now we're on MTV mm-hmm. and it just keeps doing Growing. really well. And um, I'm just very proud of it too because it's one, it's also a very positive show mm-hmm. where it shows people, you know, being authentic and being celebrated for it. And yes, there's some drama. Yes, of course. And there's some great makeup inspiration mm-hmm. and there's incredible fashion. And I think that gets better and better every year. And we have the great um, benefit of having a fresh cast of amazing entertainers mm-hmm. every season. Yeah. Um, who bring their uh, incredible personal stories. So, mm-hmm. And we have Rue, who is just, you know, I've worked with incredible people in showbiz. Mm-hmm. Certain people just have that, that um, they're just special yeah, people, and it factor. translates, mm-hmm. and um, you love being around them, and they're so wise and give great advice. And, um, and Rue has a new book out right now Fun. called House of Hidden Meanings. Mm-hmm. It came out like yesterday, so... I'm anxiously awaiting to get back home because I, I saw from Amazon that they have delivered it. Mm-hmm. Um, so I've got to, you know, get the tea. I love it yeah. so much. But people were not very happy that Plasma is not on the show anymore. I know. Yes. I know. <laughs> um, that just goes to show you that anything can happen. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that it's kind of like a game show. Like you might just have an off day and you mess up one thing mm-hmm. and it sends you home. And there has been speculation from the... Um, from the racer world, mm-hmm. from Drag Race, um, that there's a curse that if you win the rusical, you get sent home the next week. And I was mm-hmm. like, that can't be true. And then I like did the research. I was like, oh, no, oh, she is? went home. Oh, uh-huh. she went home. So it's interesting. It has happened. It has happened. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who's been your favorite guest judge? Oh, there's been so many. So many. And that is one of the really fun things about the show. Mm-hmm. It's... Um, you know, we get on onto the set like early in the morning and start getting ready and go through the works. And I don't know who's going to be the guest judge. Yeah. But there's parking spots mm-hmm. at the studio, and the person's name is usually there. But if they're like super famous, it just says like G or M. And I'm just like, ooh, is Madonna here? <laughs> she wasn't. She wasn't. <laughs> um, but it's fun discovering who's going to be there that right. day. Um, I love Miley Cyrus. Yeah, she's great. Um, Olivia Newton John, mm-hmm. God bless. Um, she was incredible. Yeah. It's just such a gamut of people. Sure. Nancy Pelosi. Um, just we've had some incredible yeah. people stop by. Mm-hmm. Um, AOC. Um, just you know, political people, entertainment people. Charlize Theron. Mm-hmm. Um, and the great thing is, is you know, I'm Ruth sitting where you are. I'm sitting here, and the guest judge is here. So I have all day to yammer right. with them. <laughs> and usually, like we become best friends. But sure. then I'm like, here's my email. Um, or they're like, okay, restraining order, right. um, because I won't shut up. But oh my god, too funny! I loved Cameron Diaz too. Yeah, you've got like everybody. We had a great time. Mm-hmm. Um, we're talking about wine and antiquing, and you know, then the the break would be over. It's like, okay, now we've got to like judge the queens. Right. Oh so my it's god. super fun. What a fun job! I, it's the best. It's the best. The best. Yeah. When's what? what uh, what's going on in the Fab Five text message change? You guys have one? Oh, we do. We yeah. do. We have the SMS. Uh, <laughs> Whatever that is, like that's been going on since that since texts were invented, right? And um, we did our twentieth anniversary of the original Queer Eye was last year, yeah. And we did some um, casino shows where we did like a night with the Fab Five and had like a reunion thing, Mm -hmm. and it was really fun. And we haven't missed a beat, and uh, we literally just have that thread going on. You know, Mm -hmm. if someone gets an awful haircut or says something stupid in the media, um, (laughs) that thread becomes alive again, and we, you know. we um, 
drag each other. Drag each I love that. Yeah, that's uh, what the queens that's say. That's what the queens say. Yeah. You know, I got to get your opinion because there was this big article that came out right. in Rolling Stone about yeah. the new... Right. Did you read it? What's kind of your reaction to I that? didn't read okay. the actual article mm -hmm. because that required like too much research. <laughs> I read articles about articles. Sure, you know, like, like yes. you get on your phone, totally. it's like, yes. it's like an Instagram post <laughs> about the, the article. And then yeah. it's like, go to our link. I was like, I am busy. <laughs> um, here are my thoughts on that. Mm -hmm. I've met all of the cast, obviously. We did a yeah. kickoff with them when it happened. Mm -hmm. It would be unfortunate if that were true, but I do know that it's a very high pressure environment. Mm -hmm. um, there's very little time to get things done. Uh, there's sometimes very little budget to get things mm -hmm. done, and it can be really stressful. I know. I lived yeah. it. Um, and I had, the, I think, the easy job of, like, dressing people and going shopping. I was like, this isn't stressful at all. <laughs> right. um, but having to redo houses or, mm -hmm. you know, big projects are stressful. And we haven't heard um, the cast member's side of the story. Sure, yeah. So I think, you know... We need to hear what they have to say, and mm -hmm. um, I do understand that it's stressful. Mm -hmm. And um, they've all been um, great guys whenever I've interacted yeah. with them. So mm -hmm. I'm going to err on the side of, you know, it was a bad day. Yeah, no. Did you ever have drama behind the scenes? Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> and I was remembering back to, like, you uh -huh. know, sometimes you're very rarely, sure. um, and I try to consistently, you know, your, your crew and everything is like, they're the ones that make you, you know, look good. So... Mm -hmm. um, uh, but, you know, there are days when things are like everything is going wrong and you you want to do such a great job mm -hmm. for the client. Sure, yeah. uh, on the new version, they call it the hero. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that's what inspires that new cast as well. Like you want to make that uh, person you're making over look and feel amazing yeah. and give them a gorgeous house. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you care so much about the outcome, you will get frustrated or upset if it's not going well. So, um Hopefully they get it all sorted out. They have a new season coming up mm -hmm. um, in New Orleans, I right. think. Yes. And um, oh, it's actually out now. Right. Yes, it's out. They have a new season coming out next season with Jeremiah. He's with yes. Jason Bobby. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they are getting ready to film that, I believe, in Las Vegas. Yeah. I don't think that's a secret. And if it is, it's not anymore. <laughs> it's You're not. welcome. You're Us welcome. Us weekly <laughs> viewers, readers, <laughs> clickers. I love it. Um, you've been on so many shows. Mm -hmm. The hot new show right now is Traders. I don't know if you're Oh my trader. God, everybody's you, talking about you, traders. Yes, would you ever do something like that? Well, I don't know exactly what it is, but I, like you live in a castle. You live in a castle. It's basically like a live board game, Pretty right? Pretty much, yes. Mm -hmm. Is it like Big Brother? It's, it's I, I personally, I haven't really fully invested okay. in it yet, yeah. but um, I know it's like a lot of challenges, kind of like Big Brother as well. Right. So it's kind of like a mix of like a lot of different Because I'm still shows. having a little PTSD, PTSD. <laughs> from Celebrity Big Brother. Right. So, um, being sick, I'll tell you what the real, mm -hmm. yes, I would love to do it if you're uh -huh. watching producers, um, because I've got horses to feed. Um, but, um, the thing that I hate about like doing those shows where you're sequestered mm -hmm. is that you don't have a phone, yeah. you don't have a book or mm -hmm. a pen or a paper, like there's, you can't it's do a crossword puzzle. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love to like write lists and be organized mm -hmm. and get all the chaos that's in my head onto paper. Right. And that was really hard for me because they just want you to talk to your mm -hmm. castmates and maybe create drama or intrigue or whatever. And I need moments to like listen to music or um, write things down. So that's the most challenging part. I think I would be good at the challenges. Mm -hmm. 